Hi, Waki. I just wanted to take a few minutes to go over some things, some questions have been coming up, and I wanted to address them with everybody at once. So first thing I wanted to share is the dates. Um, our YPL is part of our whole poetry performance season, and the first event is this Saturday, March 30th, from 12 to 3. It's called Pulse the Block. Pulse the Street, it's a, um, it's a real cool event um, where we invite young poets from our school, from YPL, from the community, from across the region to come in to the Wells Theater. It's a beautiful theater in downtown Norfolk. And we eat, uh, we, um, we have steel pans, we have a dance team, we break into groups, we write poetry, we slam. It's a friendly slam. There's lots of prizes um, for participating. You get to meet everybody. It's just a really cool event, and we hope that everybody will sign up and do the scanners and can scan to register to attend any of the events. And so that this is crossing the streets flyer that I just mentioned to you. And this one will take you directly to those free tickets for that one. And next is the um, the next thing I want to share is about Immortal, which is um, the finale at the end of April. We have something called the Immortal finale, where we invite all the poets back, the winners for Hampton Roads Poet Laureate and Virginia Poet Laureate are pilot all of the poets who applied who would like to participate are engaged um, we have a video about the first african-american school in virginia beach where some of the elders who attended during segregation actually still living legends and they met with students in dialogue and young people wrote poems in response to their sharing of their story and so those poems will be performed on stage and i'll send you all that video so if any of you want to hear the video and write a piece for the immortal finale um, you're welcome to do that i'm going to include you in everything poetic and so that's at the end of april that is not mandatory that's a big celebration that you don't want to miss if you don't have to and just to remind you of the things that come with winning the YPL and being an ambassador for a YPL is you become a published author in um, the poetry anthology called um, Creative Tongues um, and it's in its fourth year and there's a whole book launch at the Slova Public Library in June we always have a team editor and the team editors come from the YPL team and it doesn't have to be a winner who's the editor, but someone who applied and who shows an interest and they get paid to edit the um, anthology and you all get invited to um, contribute. And then paid engagements are local and statewide. Uh, many of the young people have had lots of opportunities to do different things. One was commissioned to do a poem for the State Department that was played on Juneteenth at every U.S. embassy around the world, uh, which was, you know, and they were paid and compensated for that. Um, other poets have performed for uh, local events. Um, Juneteenth is a big time when we get a lot of opportunities for the poets. But the Virginia Poet Laureate was also um, commissioned to perform for the uh, Virginia Poetry Society. And uh, um, she performed beside um, the adult Virginia Poet Laureate at that big event. Uh, this year, we'll be performing at Williamsburg's Bush Gardens 
on Team for the Purpose Day, and we'll be featuring some of the poets, and your pictures will be throughout the park and um, with, with um, QR codes to reach you directly, as well as the organization, and that would be another paid opportunity. There's just a lot of those that happen. And then um, this is the only way a young person in the state of Virginia has access to applying for the National Youth Poet Laureate Program. You can't apply directly to that without going through your city Youth Poet Laureate Program. That has to be the affiliate to the National Youth Poet Laureate Program already, which we are the only one in the in um, southeastern Virginia and then to have a statewide program in Virginia. And so from here, you would go to compete for this whole region, the southeastern region, and then from those southeastern region poets, that is how they select the four finalists for the National Youth Poet Laureate throughout the whole country. And then and you have access to that opportunity as well. So um, going back to, I mentioned there were some questions that were asked of me, and I wanted to take the time, instead of answering it to one person, to share the answer with you. Um, they were asking, um, if you are competing in both, do you have to appear both times? The answer is yes, unless you live outside of this region. Um, the region that I described as, Ham as Hampton Roads, which is the seven cities, uh, you have to be in person for both um, and um, get your tickets. I was also asked how many tickets can you get for, you know, for your group, um, as many as you like, except the, not the Hampton Roads Youth Poet Laureate event at the um, on Friday is a smaller venue, it's a glass studio, and it holds about 100, 150. So if you could limit the number of people you bring to the first event to two to four, um, make sure everybody's registered or you won't be able to get in. And it's free registration, and we're planning food for that event. So please make sure that people are registered so we have enough food to accommodate. And if you're outside of the seven cities and you need help with transportation, please let us know. Contact um, Michelle Sims and we'll help make arrangements so that you can be there. The other question that I had was, um, what if I can't make the commencement on April 7th? Um, the commencement on April 7th, the mandatory attendees would be the winners. And um, let's see, hmm. how will you know if you're a winner? We could, um, and I'll ask for thumbs up or thumbs down to you all. We could let you all know who the four finalists are, not the winners. We wouldn't do that until we do the commencement, but we could let you all know who the four finalists are. And, um, and then everyone else um, could be invited. We could also let you know who the top 10 are. I, I think I prefer that because we want everyone to have a chance on stage that wants to be. So you all would be invited and you all would have an opportunity to perform. And at that event, we would um, announce who the winners are. But uh, if you, I haven't decided. I think I need some help from you all to decide. Uh, probably leaning towards letting you know who the top 10 are uh, at your event. So you will know when you finish your competition if we have the scores before you leave, we can tell you, or within a day or two after your competition, we'll be able to tell you who the top 10 are. And, um, then the last question was, what kind of interview question will we be asked um, at the event? And the interview questions are really, it's sort of like the type of question the pageants ask. Uh, the, we 
because it's about poetic excellence and a commitment to civic and social engagement, the judges will ask you four questions and they would be around your um, why you feel you should be the poet laureate, how will you use that platform to impact the cause or community or interest that you expressed as why you want to be, you know, your civic engagement level interest. Um, so connecting your lived story with your engagement with civic and social um, initiatives that you're interested in moving forward and um, just showing your personality. So there would probably be some uh, really general question about yourself, but be yourself, be natural, be truthful. And um, they're not looking for a canned speech. They are looking for young people who speak for themselves and are not afraid to be themselves. So, um, you know, so definitely be yourself. And um, the other venues are larger, so you can invite more than four people to the other venues that follow. I just wanted to introduce you, I think this time they also introduced you to last year's winner, was um, Kajvi Romani. She won the first annual, the inaugural Youth Poet Laureate for the Commonwealth of Virginia. To Abreen Saeed. And Abreen was the, um, let's see that. I don't even know how many years we've done the Hampton Rose Youth Poet Laureate program, but uh, at least the six, six or seven um, annual Hampton Rose Youth Poet Laureate was um, Abreen Saeed. So there's your introduction to her. And then the ambassadors for the Hampton Rose Youth Poet Laureate last year was Shauna Alston, Phoenix Bank, Lucy Elliott, and Duran Glass. And ambassadors are the top four runner ups to the laureate. And for the Virginia Youth Poet Laureate, the four ambassadors were. Amini, Amina Abiola, the Virginia Youth Poet Laureate Ambassador for Richmond. Uh, Irene Saeed was for Virginia Beach. Um, Faraz, hmm, Faraz, I'm not going to even try her last name and get it wrong. Um, she was the Youth Poet Laureate Ambassador for the city of Chester. And Shauna Alston was also a finalist and a Virginia Youth Poet Laureate Ambassador for the city of Norfolk. So I just wanted to share that with you and um, looking forward to seeing you. And if you have more questions, you all have my email address and my phone number. And I'll share this with you in email. And hopefully, I'll see you Saturday the 30th. And if not then, on the 5th, the 6th, 7th, and if you're available, the 27th as well. Thank you.